yeah, we're we're back. Back again. Back in action. Filled, filled with energy. Yeah. Let's just do these shots now. Yes. Yeah, cheers. We, we travel cheers. back to 96. 1996, good year. That was too much of mine. No way I'm doing that once. Ooh. That was a lot of mine. Yeah, I like, say 96 was a good year. That was my first year of high school, and that really sucked, actually. So. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. I like it was a good year for... Oh, good years. year for entertainment. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not your life. Yeah, games yeah. and movies were great. <laughs> my life, not so much. <laughs> games and movies are what got me through high school. Mm -hmm. More ga games and books, really. But we watch an old school action movie. Yeah. Uh, Tiger Claws 2, the sequel to Tiger Claws. All the, the main people are in this. You've got Bolo, Bolo is Young. Bolo Young. young. Bolo Young. Uh, Cynthia Rothrock. And knockoff. Random. Steven Seagal, but he has better hair this time. Random dude, he got a better wig this time. I noticed they really didn't focus on his hair. Like, you couldn't see his hairline for too long. After you said something about Wise that, choice. yeah, you don't need to. Wish they could do that in real life. You're here to watch the the fighting, not not his hairline. Um, but this this story, they go a little bit mystical, magic. I mean, yeah, it comes story. out of nowhere because <laughs> I mean, it, it, it kind of picks up from the last movie a little while after the first movie. Bolo is in jail. Yeah, he's just been meditating yeah. on his. On his has wrong expressions. Yeah. Random cop comes in and he's like, Look at me, say so. He's like, He's going to teach him not to fuck I think me. he was going to rape him with that nightstick. I think that's what he wanted to do. Yeah. He, he had like that built up, like, uh, pent up tension. Yeah, his tension. wife had not fucked him. Like, yeah. He's like, I'm going to fuck this man. I'm having sex with this guy. Yeah. I'm getting this manhole. <laughs> ah! Can't get yeast infection this way. Yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is that the right one? The near old I don't know. Can you catch a yeast? Can you get yeast from a woman? Can you get can it from you, a woman? Can you get can yeast you get in your dick hole? Can you? I'm positive you can. Can you? Okay. Like 90% oh, okay. sure you can get yeast in your dick hole. I'm no doctor, but it's fucking gross. <laughs> I'd rather get <laughs> But anyway, yeah. the cop goes into the cell. Yeah. And starts fucking with him. He stick. just gets stopped. I mean, nothing happened. He just grabs the stick from him. It was yeah. kind of a, that was a letdown. I thought he was going to rip his face off. But we do eventually, he does get busted out of jail by a couple of guys who were, who worked for his old sensei or something. They were part they of his were old peers. sensei's group, but his brother, I don't know if it's his literal brother, or just his martial arts brother. Yeah. But they're, these guys were buying weapons from this fucking grease ball roid head dude. So they can take it back in so time. They could, what we learned is so they could take the weapons back in time to ancient China. I, that's, so, I mean, yeah. Some of it, some of it was because he talked about modern medicine too, and on some of the crates you could see the little red cross. Well, they were right. kind of silly. He was, he was telling Bolo that to get his approval. It was what it was. Okay, it was so, more about the guns than it was obviously. Yeah. It was just a piece. Okay. Yeah. It was all ploy, a ruse. Okay, yeah. I didn't catch that watching the movie. So they start to you start to see people with the dragon, the <laughs> dragon, the tiger claw yeah. death. Where they just scratch your face and they die. Yeah. So in New York City, our main character, I also don't know the guy's name. Uh, it's a lame as shit. Tra Traeger. 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 Yeah, it's something, it's something it's weird. Stupid. They're like, let's make this a name. So yeah, they see somebody killed with the old tiger claw thing, but then Cynthia Rothrock has moved to San Francisco and she sees somebody else killed by the tiger. Yeah, and dials him up, faxes her, him, his address, her address. They have a, um, they have the most uninteresting, romantic. They both got the hots for each other, but I mean, he's got her fucking picture. And his... Yeah, at this point, it's not. I don't feel like it's a real day, won't they? But I feel like that's what they're trying to go for. But they never, sh nothing ever happens. Yeah. And then 
you don't really, I never believed it. You know, like, I don't believe it to her. <laughs> oh, you're Not even where she, when she's wearing the lace. Oh, oh yeah. the, she was the bra just, just sitting there in the hotel room from the home, from coming in from the airport. Yeah. The airport. <laughs> and then she changes three times in the hotel room as they're staking out. Yeah. See through the lacy <laughs> thing. Yeah. I don't know. So this movie starts, there's a really good action scene at the beginning. You know, good gunfights and car explosions. But then there is a long fucking stretch. Of so much. Yeah. Nothing but B-roll. B-roll. <laughs> Nothing but shots. San Francisco. See, I, see, I like seeing cities from the 90s, 90s. You know, I like seeing that stuff, but it does drag on too long. It, the story kind of gets bogged down into just conversations. Well, let's just stand around and say stuff. Yeah. Rather than doing things. This is one of my complaints. My, my frequent complaints is people sitting around talking about doing things, but never actually showing them doing things. <laughs> it's like it's telling you the context. Yeah. Uh, it finally picks up about, say, a little bit past the halfway point. Yeah. Where they start explaining the stuff like, all right, we gotta, we got to do this tournament that we've now got to do every hundred years because something bad happened. Where we used to do it ten years, but now it's everything. It's the last tournament. Yeah, the the mess things up, and, and then we'll go open up the <laughs> Tiger Gate or whatever. Yeah, the Tiger Gate in San Francisco, <laughs> San Francisco. in Francisco. a basement of a Chinese restaurant. Yeah. Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, one of my favorite parts you left at it too was in in the restaurant where the dude that deals in guns there and there. And then the, the four people in the dragon costumes dancing around. Yeah. <laughs> and then it stopped. Like, the dude in the front in the dragon in Chinatown, Chinatown in a Chinese restaurant. It's a black dude. This black dude's like, <laughs> he just stops and you see him peek his head out of the thing. Like, are we done? Totally on it. Yeah, it, yeah. This was totally not planned. It was like he was looking toward the camera. Yeah. Probably like, at the director yeah. going like, am I good? <laughs> We got it? <laughs> I, can't, I can't hear anything of this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you're good. You're like, this is for Chinese festival. <laughs> a tournament. A uh, Chinese New Year. Yeah, so the the dude has, the evil guy has a tournament that he does in the basement of this restaurant. And they also also have a death labyrinth. Yeah, uh, yes, yeah, the chasm. It's not even that big it's of so a labyrinth. Light. It's Why a did small they even labyrinth. Do that? Yeah, <laughs> it makes no sense. Like we're gonna narrow down some people. Everybody go in this labyrinth. Everybody go to the hallways. Yeah, two people die. There's also a death a bottomless pit. Bottom. <laughs> and then they just walk out back out. The and they walk back. Like, yeah, we made it. All yeah. right. Well, we're Probably gonna have a tournament it. now. Yeah, the, martial, West the martial arts are, you know, they're okay. It's, it's very typical of this level of, let's say, the Cynthia Roth Rock level of martial arts. Yeah, you see the different it's, styles. Yeah, there, there was they brought in some legit martial they arts. They brought in a bunch of food people and stuff. That scene in the where they're all just, it's like, it was like the original 16 people oh, that yeah. were in the tournament, and they were all just three, a foot away from each other, just getting it in. Just, you don't do it that way? No, I'm not, I'm not that high level yet. And then one dude, this, like, that guy was a fucking monster. There's this one oh, guy, this he's in his underwear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's just like, I think it was, was the guy I called Mar. No, that wasn't the dude I called Mar dude. I mean, was, that would, Mar dude would be a huge, though. There's one dude in it look like Mar dude from Tekken, but that guy you're talking about. I've never seen a guy that big do any kind of martial arts or some kind of, I mean, he... It seemed like he could he could actually kick. Generally, yeah. when you see a guy that big, they're just like they're so tight they can't they, they can't. can't do shit. Yeah, uh, like the dude is moving. I'd like to call that guy. See if he's around. I mean, I wonder if he's been in anything because that guy was. I mean, ridiculous physique on that guy. Yeah, just <laughs> insane. Voided out, dude. Yeah, yeah. Flexible and nimble, like an angel. But yeah, we get the tournament wound down. He gets beaten up by the. He gets defeated by our fucking greaseball uh, gun dealer. Oh yeah, guy. It's so he gets his neck broken. You know? I guess. I see some of the, that's the thing. Some of these fights they end so. Um, what's the word? This is lackluster. We'll just be like, ah, oh, he gets punched. Yeah, he just gets punched and that's it. 
Well, let's see some, you know, fucking punch their head off. I don't know. <laughs> punch a hole. Yeah. It's straight up. Damn mock well, blood spewing out. Yeah. It, it seems like they tried to keep the fighting realistic to keep the movie itself grounded. Oh, with a tire claw? But you would just see well, somebody they... fall over, and then they just say, all right, they're done. Yeah. It's, it, it's, it's like, I mean, you, you know, let's do a big Jean-Claude Van Damme-style jumping, spinning roundhouse kick. Yeah. Slow my down. Something. Super sweaty. Put some on it. You know, you're like, yeah. oh, there's a spike going on. I'm into it. And then, oh, wait, it's good. He's just, just walking this way. Like, well, okay. <laughs> I know. They're rushing through it. They're trying to get a lot of fights done. It's like, oh, yeah. And then, so, like, Cynthia of Rock Rock gets thrown into the prison. And we, right. we meet Sun Ying. Yeah, so what happens? So, yeah, so they're yeah. doing this tournament. They've tracked Bolo Young to the. Well, they tracked everybody to this restaurant where yeah. they're having this tournament. <laughs> they they cha- they they beat up some guys, take their clothes, immediately get caught. Yeah. <laughs> and then Bolo's like, "Oh, he knows the tiger claw style, so he can he, he should be in the tournament." Yeah. Throw this bitch in jail. Throw her <laughs> in prison. They throw her into the dungeon where there's a fucking skeleton chase. <laughs> But then her the, the their master, the guy that's supposed to be dead, Bolo Young's master, and then the head other head bad guy, his he told Bolo Young that he was dead, and he's just in the corner. It's this young guy with the terrible with terrible old makeup. Yeah, looks like a fucking zombie. And they dubbed his voice with like a black man's voice. Yeah. yeah, and he's he's like, I'm really alive. And then he starts doing magic shit. Yeah. out of nowhere. Yeah, <laughs> they can't open the fucking cell, the door, and yeah. so he's like. Hold your hands out. Yeah. Ah. And he they puts magic <laughs> juice on her hands and they they fucking and then they, the door. they get attacked in the labyrinth in the hallway. And he's like he like gets the guy and he's like he like goes, he goes like Whoop. and there's like this fucking halo and the guy just like oh, yeah. Out. yeah. You know? <laughs> Turn the damn life switch yeah. off. I'm like, oh shit, this guy's awesome. It's like low pan. Yeah. He's doing some crazy That's who I thought it was gonna be was low pan at first, but no. <laughs> They didn't have the budget. It was We're just no gonna, pain. Yeah, yeah. We're just going to pretend this is the same character from Big Trouble in yeah. China. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they fight. There's fights. There's a big tournament. I, my favorite part was probably the tournament yeah, stuff. The fights in the tournament were pretty good. Yes. A lot of different styles. The guy was doing junk and boxing again. We saw... We've seen quite a bit of drunken boxing later. I mentioned it made me want to do some to watch the Legend of Drunken Master. Yeah, Jackie Chan movie. It's really good. Mm. Where it's like Jackie Chan's family. He's just like a loser. He gets caught up in the shit, and then his mom's like feeding booze. It's like, no, you got to fight. Here, drink more. He's like, oh, really? Okay. <laughs> so this <laughs> is how the drunken martial arts got started. Well, no, I mean, it, no, I don't know how it got started, oh. but I mean that that I'm just describing that. Uh, yeah. Now we're I've already. I gone thought it was like it. a whole biography of how the drunk next no, style no, got started. Yeah, maybe we will do it next week. <laughs> but, uh, I, I went off on a tangent. Yeah, I used to watch that movie. I love that movie. Anyway, this movie. Yeah, back to this one. So, like, we see them go through time. I was thinking about just getting a little nacho. Well, yeah, I mean, that's, that's the end goal. Yeah. Bad guys, yeah, eventually bad guys. Bad guys lose. Yeah. Good guys win. But then they, the old man and Bolo Young, I guess they just decided Bolo Young was cool, even though he was a fucking serial killer. Yeah. They're just like, Bolo probably told him, look, I'm only going to do this if I'm a good guy. I'm tired of being the bad yeah, guy. I don't want to be a bad guy. Yeah, I don't want to be typecast. Yeah. In TC 2000, he's a good guy. I want to say it's around the same time this movie came out. Yeah, that's probably what happened. Yeah, at the end of the movie, they, they have him, him and the old man walk through the portal and they go to the past. Where they speak yeah. English. <laughs> they, they speak English. English. They speak English. We've been waiting on you. Yeah. I don't understand. The, did they. Explain the purpose why they go back in time every. They said it was to go back for uh, for their students to go back for training, I think, or something like that. 
Because huh. it was every 10 years they would send right. warriors back. Yeah. That's why they had the tournament for the centennial, was to have the strongest warriors, the strongest four from the tournament would get yeah. to... Yeah. Okay. And this time they were just also sneaking in some weapons, I guess. Huh. Yeah, this time they were sneaking crates of weapons. Yeah. Like it's, <laughs> like it's fucking Afghanistan. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna come in and just murder the Mongols. Yeah, that's what I was sad and want to bring it up. But every time I was like, "Hell yeah, bring some machine guns, show Genghis Khan what for." I'd say. But that was something too. Before we get into reviews, is that I did feel like that might have been like an underlying thing was that we saw our antagonist kind of switch to more of a protagonist. He kind of did the Gandalf thing where he switched into a white robe at one point. He's wearing this silk white gi, you know, like, you know, that was, because the, the cops do let him go. They see him going into the portal. They figure, we don't have jurisdiction in China, 1400. You yeah, he know? got pissed at his brother Yeah, just turning it into a criminal organization. Yeah. Even though he was a fucking crazy yes. killer. Yeah. I still... Well, and was just, he was completely insane in that yes, first movie. He murdered <laughs> people that won tournaments. He was like this creepy painter. And remember, and yeah. he's like, <laughs> he's like crazy smile on his face. He, he took. Uh, he's killed other people for the fuck kills. of it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. right. Yeah. At this point, he's like, oh no, you guys are shaking down restaurant owners. That's, that's too what I'm far. Saying, you yeah. gone too far. Too far. <laughs> <I mean. laughs> like, like, that's I the blast from Tiger Claw for this. Yeah. Oh. I just came here to murder top contenders. You disrespected the, our master. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he just fucking broke out of prison. By killing like 16 cops. Oh, he didn't really kill anything in the breaking out. Well, no. Oh, and, and just the, the one scene was pretty funny where they they steal the French fry oh. truck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the bet, when they break him out of prison, they steal the French fry truck and then <laughs> they they break down and the two cops are like, I want the, 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 gut, I want the, the gut buster and the big nasty. Yeah. <laughs> and he, he gives them frozen fries with mustard on top and they're like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> we got a problem here. <laughs> you just put mustard on these cold ass fries. <laughs> and then they just murder the cops. Yeah. Oh, fuck. If, if only he had cooked better. Exactly. They would have had to kill those cops. I could have swore those fries were like cooked for a second, but they were making them frozen so he could pick up the hot fries. You could still the see the fryer. frost. Oh, the yeah, you saw the frost. <laughs> I was hearing the crack. Yeah, they, of went, the they wanted fryer. you to think that he yeah. pulled. Because in that first movie, you see him like. Oh, yeah, they were these kung fu people do this shit where they're like coals. Yeah, they yeah. punch like sand and they, you know, punch coals and shit, you know, tough it up the Shards hands. of glass. Yeah. He's grabbing it out of the fryer. Yeah, they, he's just pulled, supposedly he's pulled it out of the fryer. The fryer's not even going, it's not even on. And not hasn't been warmed up at all or nothing. nothing. Yeah. yeah. It's just, it's, 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 I don't know. Do you want to go to scores on yeah. this? I don't know if I like this as much as the first movie. It had some good moments. Um, some, kind of slow in the middle. Uh, should have been a little bit more action. I I don't like it. A lot of the times I don't like it when they start adding random mystical shit. But in this instance, I thought it was pretty funny. Yeah. When he does the fucking, like, oh, he, he does dead. that shit. <laughs> That was pretty good. So I'm probably going to go three and a half on this. I thought it was pretty fun. It, it wasn't amazing, but, you know, I, it's still one of those sort of C-level action movies. Right now. Definitely going to give this one a three. The reason why it's way too much B-roll. Get rid of the B-roll. So they're in the city. Definitely. We are in it. But... Yeah, first half was kind of a drag. Second half was way better. Yeah, so get 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 to the action. Get to it. I want to see the. I want to see the. Yeah. Uh, I was a solid three and a half on that. Cynthia Roth, Roth, Rothschild, Roth. She immediately garners a three. Uh, you know, I thought the fighting was really good. Um, I liked watching it with my friends. I thought it was. It wasn't too ridiculous, 
that it took you out of the storyline, but it, it was, in fact, it had parts of it that were just wild enough to just make you laugh. I thought it was really good. Three and a half. I it, right? Oh, yeah, and one thing I forgot. Uh, Lazar Rockwood oh, yeah. from Beyond the Seventh <laughs> Door is like in this. 20 <laughs> seconds. Oh, yeah. This guy is amazing. Yeah. He's the weirdest looking guy ever. You'll know who we're talking about once you watch it. He just gets, he's just in this one scene. He acts terrified with a gun in his hand and he just gets killed. He's a terrible actor. <laughs> but this guy's amazing. I want to recommend you just go watch Beyond the Seventh Door. And then watch this. Yeah, and then watch this movie. That's what he does after he gets out. Because Beyond the Seventh Door is just. It's past yet crazy. Oh, God. Makes no sense. What was that? That's on Prime. I I, it was, yeah. yeah. I don't know if it still is, but it was. Yeah, let's look it up. Let's find that. Yeah, there you go. It's been the review of Tyreek Claus, too. Those steroids got a film 